Okay, so I'm Peter Ward, um, and I'm an environmental artist, or I could be an ecological artist, or I could be an earth artist, or I could be just an artist. Um, at the moment we're sitting in the, the White Moose Gallery in Trinity Street in Barnstable, which is a, a new contemporary art space for North Devon. Um, and the White Moose invited um, five artists, uh, myself, uh, Merlin Chesterman, Sue Plummer, Grizz Lutman Johnson and Judith Wesker, um, to just explore the, the pigment Billy for Black. Um, so we've all just been, well, we've gone out together to play and we've taken Billy for Black with us to different places. Um, one of them was the Heartland Quay, which is one point along one of the scenes of Billy for Black, um, historically. Um, and then we took some Billy for Black and we all did our own responses to that place using the material, um, experimenting with it at home in our studios or wherever. Um, and then towards the end of the project, we went to Hawkbridge Woods um, on the River Tor, which is the other end of the evident scene of, of Billy for Black. And um, we all went and played there and produced work together there and just responded to the things in the environment took our Billy for Black with us um, and played there and saw what could come out. So we've all explored and experienced different things, not through just through the material we've been using, but by interacting with each other and how we inspire different things. It's very much about, okay, where did that pigment, that material come from? And what do I have to do to it to get to the point where I paint it? But enjoying every little step and appreciating every little step of the way and what you learn about that colour, um, or that material really, is, is um, and the way that you can then decide how you're going to use that in your, in your painting. You might want a rough mix, you might want to grind it very little, you might want to mix it with different mediums like egg or linseed oil, water or PVA glue, or whatever you choose to do, basically you're more in control of that, you, you understand everything that's gone into what might be a very simple image at the end. Um, and then the way that that material dictates the marks that you make. So there's, there's all these sort of things. You can't fluidly paint lines often with a hand ground earth pigment. So like the painting behind me, things become very pointy. So whether this is why a lot of Aboriginal paints are dotty is a, a, an in, again an interesting thought, a question that comes up when you're doing this work. One of the big things, the most exciting things about finding pigments is the way that it changed my work. And you know, I said the sort of essence or the motivation behind what I was doing was about communicating uh, sort of the spirit of nature and things like this. So it was, it challenged, it basically it was putting nature on the canvas or on a bit of paper. Um, so there was less detachment, it was more of a direct expression of nature because it was nature.